Hey there guys, and welcome back to another a video where we decided to do another haul from our local discount grocery Where's store inside? Hornings. Uh, we did this a few weeks back, so we'll link that down in the description below. Uh, we wanted to get this out because we didn't get to a cooking video like we said we would. Nope. And the snack video went up four days earlier than I thought it would have because Oops. I don't know how to YouTube. But anyway, um, so the tasting video or the snack video for Universal Yums mm -hmm. went up Wednesday, so this will be our Saturday Saturday video, mm -hmm. and we've got another Hornings haul. Uh, but before we begin that, uh, as always, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff, mm -hmm. and you'll see the uh, social media stuff pop up. Right in front of my face. Somewhere in there, uh, so make sure you check that stuff out. Uh, Joelle, anything to say before? If you're new in? here, thanks for checking it out. I'm Joelle. I'm Stuart. And we're going to show you what we bought today. All right, so let's get right into it. All right. All right, so there's no real rhyme or reason behind where we're going here, but we're going to show you just the stuff that, that we got. <laughs> I tried to kind of put it in order, but I don't think it worked. <laughs> All right, so we'll start here. Uh, Joelle, what we got? We got Pop-Tarts. We have a few kind of snacky things. Um, we're leaving on a trip in four days, mm -hmm. and um, we wanted to pack some mostly breakfast or snacky things that we could snack on while we're gone for the next week. So right. here's one of the things we're taking with us. Pop-Tarts. Because Disney snacks are expensive. <laughs> yeah, and we only get 12 of them. No, we get 24. I don't Yeah, 24 yes, total. Tw between the two of us. But we yep. don't usually have a, a breakfast planned. So right. this is nice, quick, and easy to grab before yep. you leave your hotel room. All right, so we got that. Uh, and they're that. $1.69 a piece. And I think that's a pretty good price for a bigger box of Pop-Tarts. To be honest, yeah. I have no idea what they cost at the grocery like store. Like the last time, I'll do a comparison between Walmart and this so you get an idea of what we spent versus what, what you would, would spend, spend at Walmart. Walmart. Yep. So. All right, and then we got a loaf of bread. Nothing too exciting. Yeah, just for sandwiches before we leave. Some Italian, Italian bread. Um, yep. So... There's that. And Ziploc bags. Yeah, well, great for, our, sliders. for our liquids, you need to have them in a clear quart bag if we're taking mm. any in our carry-on. So I figured right. that would be a good thing to have just in case. Yep. All right, so let's go this way, I guess. Okay. Some uh, Sour Patch Kids Fire. Let's see, they're 49 cents. This is also a snack to have maybe on the plane or when we're traveling or something like that. Or I'll break into them early and that's Well, one for do. now and one for later. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. I got some... Um, Chocolate chips, just because they're always nice to have for baking. Yep. And you can't beat 99 cents. No, not for that stuff. Yeah. Um, then we got some soup. Yeah, we kind of planned on maybe some easy dinners um, before we leave. We have four more days, so a few more dinners, and we figured we'd just keep it easy. Right. So, yeah. I and mean, those that's... were all 99 cents a can or a tub or whatever you want to call yeah. that. All right. And back here, we got a jug of... A ranch huge dressing. jug of ranch dressing because I put it on everything. That's Joel's lifeblood. So for two ninety nine mm -hmm. on that. We got these the last time we went to Hornings and we didn't show you guys that trip. But mm -hmm. Stuart really liked them. Yeah. Um, and for 99 cents a bottle, you yeah, know, that's you can't beat a that. pretty good price for yeah. those. All right. Then other easy yeah. sides or meals. We usually turn these into meals. Some oven baked macaroni and cheese, Cracker Barrel. Um, yeah, they're easy to turn into meals with some chicken and some broccoli or something like that. Or, or even just eat them eat themselves. By, which is what we usually We're do. We're basically children. That's right. But those um, are quick and easy. Yeah. And then back here we've got... Yeah, a three pack of three different pack of kinds cheese. of cheese. And that was $3. So yeah, we figured a dollar per thing of cheese, thing of cheese isn't is bad. really good. Yeah. So. Well, right. I guess we're here. We have this Devour Pizza. Uh, with creamy Garlic Supreme. It sounds interesting, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, that was $2.99, so anytime you can get a frozen pizza for less than $4, I think you're doing pretty good. Yep. Okay. And that'll be a quick, easy dinner, too. Yep. And then, I think we had these once before. Right. And they were really good. Um, Teriyaki and pineapple, pineapple meatballs. meatballs were 99 cents. We got two of them since they were in the frozen section. They'll be a quick, mm -hmm. easy meal if we need them. They did still have the meatballs that we got last time, but we passed on those this time. We figured we'd try something different. <laughs> and then we also got these roasted garlic and Gruyere cheese like sausages. Once again, they are 99 cents a pack and also quick and easy. You just need rolls and you're good to go. Right. And yeah. as is usual with Hornings, a lot of times they have bacon for a really good price. So we load up. Yep. So for $1.69 for a pound of bacon, yeah. you really can't beat that. Oscar Mayer maple bacon. Yep. yep. So whenever we see that it's there, we always buy, you know, two or three packages. Yep, and then throw it in the, in the freezer. They're great for BLTs mm -hmm. and 
breakfasts or other things if we want to do or that. Or just way. make yourself a plate of bacon. You know, sometimes you just works. need some bacon. <laughs> and then because we really know how to adult. Yep, we got us some sugary cereal just yep. for this week before we leave on our trip. Some Frankenberry and marshmallow Fruity Pebbles, which is like Joelle's favorite. It is my favorite. My Fruity Pebbles were $1.79 and the Frankenberry were $1.99. Yep. And then over here, just some milk. I think it was like $1.69, $1.79, something like that. For half a gallon of 1% milk. Yep, so milk. Milk is milk. Yep. Toilet paper, super exciting. But necessary. <laughs> right. $1.79 for a six pack. Yep, which is pretty good as far as bathroom tissue goes. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple more bags of box chips. Um, we decided that four wasn't enough for the tasting video we're going to so do. Now we'll do six. So we'll do six and that'll be a bit of a different video. Um, yeah. So, and then for another future tasting video, we got some roasted turkey roasted Pringles. Roasted turkey Pringles. So. For 99 cents. That exists. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. And then some Gushers. This is also for the trip. Um, not all three boxes, I don't think, but. Um, and these are, they're sweet and fiery. So they're sweet with like a little zip mm -hmm. to them. I'm a big fan. I like them a lot. Yeah, and they were 69 cents a box. Right. And then Joelle got some Welch's fruit and yogurt snacks. Yeah, strawberry. I've had these before and they're good. And I like that they're in like little pouches. So you can mm -hmm. just throw them in your backpack when we're going out the door yep. for $1.49. All right. And then I got, I think in the last video that we did of this, I showed a smaller package of like four bars of this bison jerky. Uh, it was not too bad. Um, these are also good to take with us. Yeah. This is a 12 pack for $1.99. I don't have to look. I'll link the, as I said, I'll link the video below of the last time we did this. Right. I want to say it was 99 cents for four, and this is $2 for 12. Yeah. So, so I got two boxes of those. Yep. Um, becoming a big fan of jerky, so. And we will insert what our total would have been if we had shopped at Walmart or another grocery store, and our total at Hornings yeah. was. The total that we spent at Hornings, and it'll be up on the screen as well, but. If you can see it there. Hold on, this focus. might focus. There 55, we go. 70, 55 70. Which isn't bad considering the amount of stuff that we got, which is this table full. Yeah, I think that's things. pretty good. So, um, but we'll put the comparison in as far as Walmart versus Hornings. Yeah. All right, so that's it for this haul. Um, so, any last thoughts, Joel? Any words of wisdom? No. No. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> All right. So once again, as always, let us know what you think in the comments about that. Uh, if you like this material, uh, we'll definitely see if we can do it again. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of hit or miss with hornings. Um, we don't always find really interesting stuff, but sometimes it's really neat, like roasted turkey Pringles. Yeah, and when you find it, you got to grab it because you'll probably never see it again. As long as it's good. Yeah. Sometimes it's not and you're okay <laughs> that it disappears forever. <laughs> That's so. true. Uh, so as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and we will catch you next time. And as always, just you know, or as we said in our last videos, keep an eye out. We got some Disney material come up. So yeah, if there's anything you'd like to see, oh, it might be too late, but leave a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually be, this will go up Saturday. Oh, so okay. it'll be the day before we leave. So yeah. make sure you uh, let us know and we'll see what we can uh, do while we're there. Awesome. So thanks for watching and we will catch you next time, guys. Bye. Later.